And if you're still hungry after that, I'll be making a beautiful lamb kofta with spices and a refreshing cucumber and mint dressing. Oh, they both look fabulous. Welcome to Steph's Pack of Lunch Alive from Lee. <laughs> It's time now to talk pests because rodents like rats and mice are causing havoc for millions of us at home. In the past few years, the UK rat population has exploded to over 150 million of them. And every day, councils are having to deal with over 600 infestations. So here to help is pest controller and BBC Apprentice star, Mark Mosley. Hello, Mark, because you, you're, you've you worked with celebs and royalty and all sorts and so now pests, haven't you? I have, yeah. I'm, I've done domestic properties for the royal family and I've also, uh, I was only in a celebrity's house, a very well-known celebrity, uh, two weeks ago, sorting out spiders in his bathroom. I know uh, it is. He told me in the green room earlier. But we're not allowed to I say. I the seal. Uh, <laughs> I'll tickle it out with you later. Um, so the, it's when we're talking about rats being a problem, we're obviously not talking about like the pet rats that we've got here. No, completely different. So we've got the two types of uh, rats in the UK that we're concerned with that's the brown rat which is the common rat and the um, ship rat which is round canals very rare but the brown rat unlike us humans it just wants food water and shelter but it will travel through the sewers and so it carries diseases with it and it it wants to um, nest in your home, so it'll get around the heating pipes and it's usually the females that come out of the sewers to have their young and that will be in the cavities of people's properties. <gasps> the, what, they'll actually have the babies in they'll the They'll have cavities. the babies and then they'll wean them and then they'll all go off. So they can cause a little bit of damage if they chew on cables and if they're running around your property and you've got young children, they've got pathogens on their feet, they could carry virus disease in their urine, they're peeing everywhere and you've got a baby crawling through puts its hand in the urine, puts its hand in his mouth, it'd be very dangerous. Because oh, rats are incontinent, aren't they? They pee as they go, is that right? Um, I know when they're peeing, it's more to do with pooing. So right. mice are the same, they just don't know when they're pooing, so you'll see droppings everywhere. Oh, goodness. Right, so how do we prevent them then, Mark? So there's a number of ways that rats can get into the property. If you've got a garden outside, you've got to be looking for burrows because they'll get in a burrow and then they'll hit, um, get underneath the footings of your property, if you like, and get in the cavities. And if you've got decking, this is the big thing we see in London, is decking. If you've got yeah. soft soil under decking, they'll get underneath the deck in, they'll then burrow in and that's how they get under the property so always look for burrows around the property another main way and we see this especially with people getting baths and um, new toilets underneath their stairs is these things flexible waste pipes plumbers for nice and ease they get a flexible waste pipe they'll connect it to the toilet they'll then connect it to the drainage line and rats are in the sewers so they'll come up they'll come up this part here and then because of all these grooves, they'll chew through and create a hole. Once they've created a hole, they're in the cavities of your property. And when you're flushing the toilet, you could have waste coming out as well. And the only way of sorting that out is either getting a solid plastic pipe that the plumber should put on, or once you've got this fixed and they put a new one on, you can put a one-way valve in the manhole, the drainage cover outside. So let's say it's a rat flap, if you like. Yeah. So when you flush the toilet, all the water goes out that way and then the rats physically can't come back up the way so that's a very good way and also another one as the old saying goes as quick as a rat up a drain pipe rats will run up a drain pipe sit on top of the guttering and then they'll chew a hole through the soffit underneath the tile which is a wooden like fascia and then they'll get into the roof spaces and this is where these come into play you can get one of these put it in the uh, gutter so the rats physically can't come out and every month maybe just pull it out, remove the leaves and put it back up. So that's another good tip for you. Oh, gosh, that's low. I mean, I'm still scared another. for my life. <laughs> I've never got the I'm toilet just again. that's another job for our Graham to do, isn't it? Yeah, it another is. The one on his list. That's what we like, <laughs> getting working. And what about mice? Because they're a lot smaller than rats. Are they... Are they going to be fooled by these things as well? Well, yeah, as you say, mice, they're not going to be in the sewer systems, but mice can get through the smallest of gaps and they'll get into the cavities again and it's the holes around the pipeworks. The pipework's going to be underneath your sink. That's a big one. That's where the smells of foods are. So mice are naturally drawn to that area. You're going to have holes possibly underneath your stairs where your gas comes in and also holes around like um, waste water pipes coming out the back of your sink and things. So you want to be looking at, if you've got holes at the back of your kitchen coming out, Get some cement, this will cost about nine pounds. Corking gun, bit of cement around any gaps around the uh, pipes. That's one big one. And also wire wall, this is great. So you plug the holes of wire wall, you've got a little demonstration there. Granted, you're never gonna have holes in your skirting board. You just replace the skirting board. Is a mouse getting through that? A mouse will get through that. So you, sort of a 5p pence we say a mouse can get through. 
plug that hole, and then you want to be putting something on top of it, such as an adhesive. So expanding foam is what a lot of people use. You plug the hole, put expanding foam on, so when the mouse is the other side, it tries to pull on it. Most animals without horns on their head will pull things. So it tries to pull on it, can't get through, and it goes somewhere else. Yeah. And you know those plumbing supplies you mentioned? Where would you get those from? The plumbing, so one word. One way valves, you can go online and just type in um, a six inch or four inch. You'll have to know the different sizes. Most common is about four inches, but you sometimes get a six inch. You can go online in any retail and just put in rat flap, four inch or six inch. And if needs be, speak to a professional drainage person or a pest controller who will come around. But prevention is better than cure, isn't it? So what can we do in the first place to stop? Mice from getting it. Yeah, prevention's better than cure. So you want to be taking off the kickboards underneath the kitchen units and try and finding where the water pipes works come in. So that's where you want to be plugging straight away with the wire wall and the expanding foam. As soon as mice can't get in, they just go somewhere else. But yeah. also foods as well. We see it quite a lot is foods in the bottom cupboards. Don't have foods in your bottom cupboards. You want to be putting the foods up high in the top cupboards because they'll get in quite comfortably and that's uh, a major problem. Once they found a food source, they're not going anywhere. Another thing, pets as well. When the dog or cat is not feeding, and people always say to me, well, I've got a cat, why have I got mice? Because they're feeding from the cat food. When the animal's not feeding, get that food away and put it up ah, high somewhere. That is good advice. Um, is it true squirrels can be a bit of a problem as well for people? Squirrels, yep. So we call squirrels the dusk and dawn animal. So when the sun's coming up in the morning, that's when you'll start hearing squirrels getting ready to go outside for their morning routine. And then they'll come in as the sun's going down. But I was around a, um, a guitarist who's guitars for someone very famous and uh, a squirrel went through three of his guitar costing oh. thousands of pounds in damage and he was absolutely gutted because they meant so much to him these guitars but um, yes you'll hear squirrels sort of making noise around dusk and dawn and um, it's the grey squirrel we're concerned with it carries the pox virus the red squirrels protected by law so what can you do to stop squirrels so squirrels, you've got to look around the soffit or any roof tiles that may have slipped. Um, if you've got any slip roof tiles, get a roofer to fix them. Or if you've got a wooden soffit, you'll see them chew holes through and then they'll get in. So you want to try and get the holes blocked up straight away. Wow, yeah, we're just looking at one of those pictures of what you can do to cover it up. Uh, summer's coming. What about bed bugs? People bring them back off holiday in the suitcases, yeah, well, don't it. they? Bed <gasps> bugs. Yeah, but other people bring them back duty free. Some people bring them back bed bugs, Steph. Yep. <laughs> So, right. when, so when you're going away on holiday, the uh, first thing I do when I get to my hotel room is I check the bed frame. I lift the mattress up and bed bugs like to be around wooded items. So the slats of the bed are usually made of wood and the headboard is the biggest thing. They try and get within about a metre of our body. So they're attracted to CO2, what we're breathing out, and heat. And they're a parasite. So if you start getting three or four bites in a row or a cluster, it's likely going to be bed bugs and they'll be quite pronounced. So they're the big ones. And also, it might not be your hotel that's got bed bugs. Your bag just might be in the hold of a plane next to someone who had bed bugs and they hop onto your bag. So it, you've got to check your hotels, and if you're getting bites when you come home, check all around your bed, OK? Making me itch. Is it making what, you itch? Yeah, it is. What, what, um, what can you do then? To, to just just when you... I mean, monitoring, and once you find bed bugs, it's best to get a pest control. There's a lot of um, products on the markets which just aren't good enough for bed bugs. So get a professional pest controller using a professional um, insecticide, and that will sort the problem. Yeah. And what about the other teeny weeny creepy crawlies, ants and spiders and things like that. I mean, I like spiders in the house. We, you know, we have a Colin in our co in corner of our front room. Is a delight, he's a really good house guest. Spiders, spiders, <clears throat> spiders are great. They'll get rid of the flies for you, so they are good. And there's, that's one of the only wives' tail that I'm aware of that seems to work from customers. I say, if they get uh, conkers and put them around every wall, it seems to get rid of spiders. That's the only one. There's no scientific proof behind that, but that's the only one that works. And fleas, we get it quite a lot in London with people with fake grass. Foxes are in their garden, fleas will jump off, and in the summer they're living in the fake grass. So when people are having barbecues, they're getting fleas jumping up, biting them, and then they're taking them back in the house. And oh. So that's a big one. So if you've got foxes in London or anywhere in the UK you've got urban foxes, they'll be carrying fleas likely. And ants, what about them? Ants, again, they're going to be looking for sweet fluids. So your jams and marmalades, if you've got any spillage in your cupboards, and one that first ant finds it, it as soon as it gets a feed of it, it will run back to the nest and it will tell all the other ants by leaving a pheromone trail we've hit the good stuff and every ant will then from the nest come and get the ant eaters. party central that's so clean yeah, your cupboards local. clean 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 your cupboards yeah that is good advice mark thank you very much for that thank hey, you so we've got through everything there uh, still to come with a number of children in care looking likely to reach a record high we'll meet two people sharing their story of the care system it's all for a brand new channel 4 series that's right after the break <laughs>